Welcome back to Shitoku Tech. I had a lot of fun getting this TTGO T display board working again, so I wanted to check out the rest of the TFT ESPI library examples in the Arduino IDE. Let's check it out. So the first thing I wanted to do was verify the actual resolution of the TTGO display and there was a question about that one guy answers 135 by 240 and someone else answers 340 by 240. I'm going to go in favor of this answer first because I independently verified that driver and that panel size says it's 135 by 240. So that'll give us an idea of what we're going to be working with when we get in the Arduino IDE and test out some of these examples. So my kids got me this cool light box for Christmas and I 3D printed a stand for the TT Go and I think that's going to help us make this video. Thanks kids. So all of these TFT ESPI examples are right here under examples and they're at the very bottom. Make sure to watch my video about loading boards and libraries in the Arduino IDE. That's how these extra custom libraries get added. So you can see we've got display sizes of 160 by 128. That's like the closest that we've got. And of course, we could modify some of the code to match the resolution of our device. We'll see if we can do that here. Okay, and let's go ahead and send that over to our TTGO display board. Off we go. I will be cropping out some of the compiling and uploading action for the sake of brevity. Okay, well that's really nifty. Let's see what else we got here. Let's play Pong. I'm going to go ahead and modify this one as well. And let's send that to the TTGO. Here it goes. Alright, there's Pong. They've got some mad Pong skills. Let's see what's next. Let's see what fonts we have here. Okay, so it's just demoing different fonts and different colors available. Up next, let's do a digital clock. And again, all these examples are available in the TFT ESPI library down here at the bottom. Okay, there's a cool little clock. Let's see what else we got here. I guess it's going to draw some ellipses. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Random circles filled and just outlines, different colors. Quite nice. Of course, we could resize that to fit the display as well by changing these numbers here. This is an example of a meter. Let's take a look at that. Alright, there's a nifty meter for you. Okay, we're going to check out some of the other examples down underneath the larger displays and the generics. You know, you can see here the larger, the 320 by 240. We're going to check a couple of those out. We're going to check out some of the generic examples. And we're going to check out some of the sprite examples. So here we go. First up is the fill arc spiral. I'm not going to modify this to fit this display. Let's just send it. Wow, that's pretty snazzy. And of course you could modify it to fit the screen here. Okay, up next. Oh, this is cool. The star field. You'll recognize this if you're into like Star Trek or something. Yeah, it's just like the opening scene of Star Trek there. We just need the Enterprise to come flashing through. Up next, let's see. Draw X bitmap. Let's see what this does.
Oh, that's kind of interesting. What else we got? Alpha blend test. Not much to see there, but quite a rainbow of colors. Let's see, one bit sprite demo. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. More stars. What else do we have here? Sprite draw pixel. Oh, that's kind of a cool little demo. What's really interesting is, you know, you could go in and modify this code, use it for your own purpose, and that's kind of why I want to go through some of these examples for you to give you an idea of what you can do with these boards. Let's check out a couple more here. Scroll 16-bit, flicker-free text scrolling. Well, that's a pretty interesting demo. The T2Go T Display Board is an ESP32 board with Wi Fi and Bluetooth. So, there's a lot of things you can do besides putting pretty colors on the screen. We want to check out some of the other examples for the ESP Dev module. I like these two web server ones Hello Server and Advanced Web Server. Let's check these out. First up, Hello Server. You have to put in your SSID and password. Don't use mine. And we send that. Make sure to open the serial monitor. And here you can see it starts up and connects to the Wi-Fi. We also see that it's got an IP address. So let's open up that website. So there you go, that's all it does is hello from ESP. You can modify that and add your own interesting data. Let's look at the advanced web server. This is going to be really much more interesting. Again, put in your SSID and your password. And let's send it along. There we go, the serial monitor shows that it's connected and it's got an IP. Let's open that page. Ah, that's pretty neat. Got some colors, got this graph that updates. Yeah. All of this is available under the two libraries that we added. The ESP32 dev module libraries have a lot of stuff to explore with Bluetooth and all that. We'll be looking at this some more. And then the TFT ESPI display. Okay, thank you very much. Shotoku Tech, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thank you very much.